Welcome to the Ultima Insta360 ONE X Beginner's Guide. If you just bought the ONE X or you are new to 360 video, then you are in the right place because in this crash course, you are going to learn how to make your very first overcapture video with the Insta360 ONE X, the invisible selfie stick and the ONE X app so you can make a video that looks like this. Now that you know what you are aiming for, let's jump right in. So what is 360 video? The Insta360 ONE X records 360 video. So how is this different to 2D video? So let's imagine you want to film a walk in the park and you mount your GoPro Hero camera to your selfie stick. The GoPro will only film where you point the camera. So if I want to film to the left of me, then I need to physically point the GoPro to the left. And if I want to film to the right of me, then I need to physically point the GoPro to the right. Now let's imagine you want to film a walk in the park again, but this time you mount the Insta360 ONE X on the selfie stick. Unlike the GoPro Hero cameras, the ONE X records 360 video, which means it's recording video all around you at all times. So if you wanted to record something happening to the left or the right of you, you don't need to physically point this camera in those directions because the ONE X is already recording everywhere around you, which means it's also recording in front, it's recording me, it's recording to the top and bottom and left and right. So all you need to do is enjoy the walk and you'll never miss a moment with the ONE X. When you open a GoPro video on your computer, it will look like a normal video. But if you open a 360 video on your computer, it will look a bit funky. What you are seeing is an equirectangular projection of your 360 video. What is equirectangular projection? The world map is an equirectangular projection of Earth. It is simply a flat way of showing something that is round. This is what the same file looks like when it is displayed in a spherical view. Download GoPro VR Player to view your 360 videos on the computer. What type of videos can you make with the Insta360 ONE X? In editing, you can present a 360 video in two different ways to your audience. One, an immersive 360 video, and two, an overcapture video. What is immersive 360 video? Immersive 360 video allows your audience to wear a VR headset and get total freedom to look anywhere they want in the video. Your audience can also view a 360 video without a VR headset on desktop and mobile. On desktop, they can scroll the video with their mouse or use the keyboard keys W, A, S and D. On mobile, they can swipe their finger across the screen or physically move the phone around with their hands. An immersive 360 video is perfect for virtual tours and real estate. There are three reasons why. Your audience will save time and money. They can see faraway places without the need to travel there. Your audience can make a more informed decision more easily because they can visit multiple places virtually and compare them. Your audience will get a more realistic view than photos or videos. They can look at what matters to them most and get a sense of the space and scale of their surroundings. The ONE X is absolutely capable of making virtual tours and real estate videos, especially with their integration with Matterport. What is overcapture video? Overcapture video allows your audience to watch a 360 video in a 2D video format, so you can post it on Instagram or TikTok. In editing, you can choose which direction you want the 360 video to look, so your audience will only see what you choose to show them from your 360 video. Overcapture video is perfect for travel, action or family type of videos on social media. There are three reasons why. A vast majority of people watch videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook because it is easily accessible. Only a small minority of people watch videos on a VR headset, so make videos for the mass and not the minority. Watching overcapture videos is effortless, it's just like watching any other video. But watching an immersive 360 video requires physical effort to look around the video and people are just too lazy for that. Some people get motion sickness and other kinds of discomfort from a VR headset and if you're not standing up or sitting on a swivel chair then it's really hard to physically look behind you in a VR video. And thirdly, get creative with your overcapture videos. 
you can show impossible angles like never seen before. You can make a hyperlapse video, time shift video, tiny planet video, slow motion video, time lapse video, and so much more. That's it for this video. So you now know what a 360 video is, the differences and use cases between an immersive 360 video and an overcapture video. And in the next video, I'm going to talk you through the contents of the Insta360 ONE Xbox.